All right, we're back. We're gonna get back into it. I think I figured out the correct sequence of events. Because the whole stealth thing, it's like a red herring. You don't... Maybe you need to stealth through some of it to figure out what you're supposed to do. But to actually complete... To actually get to where you need to go, you don't need to stealth. You just need to wait wait them out. You see, once the water hits, the smaller the the village, the first groups die out. Then the water, the tower will like take a hit, and once it gets knocked over, then the tower group dies out. So what we want to do is try to get into the, lo the lodge first. No, we want to, don't want to get into the lodge. We want to go to the tower mortuary. Activate the thing that allows us to dock. Uh, activate the dock at the tower, then leave the tower mortuary. Ooh, come on. Let's not go in there. No. No. This is a lame start to our... what is going to probably require a little bit of speed. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna grab that. We will need this for the tower. We're just visiting the tower. We're not going to complete the tower. We're not going to get to whatever the tower is hiding. Ouch. Is there something I need to get here? No. Probably not. Maybe there is. I will find out, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna commence. There are, are new advancements in ninja skills. Don't we're, to be the best ninja. All you have to do is just wait for your enemies to die. That's that's our plan. That's the ultimate in ninja skills. All right, so we're gonna go up here. That's not what I want. Okay, let's try this again. Alright. Running on fuel, but that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna bother to refuel right now. We can refuel again after we're done at the tower. Oh, that didn't work either. Well, goddammit. I'm like rushed and panicked, even though I probably have lots of time. Oh, there we are. And we'll get in there. I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to work out. Because it'll be interesting exploring these areas without trying to hide our light. I thought about doing this much sooner. I might not have had to repeat my actions as often. No. Where do we go up? Aha, there we are. Okay, so, go down this way. No, we have to go down the other way. So we'll get... 
Yeah, we'll activate that stock. And then we'll go back around and... It doesn't really matter what order we do them in. I don't think it does anyway. Okay. There we go. That's one. Phase two is erasing the lights for the alarm. After you stop using the word phase for things, step two is deact disarm the alarm. It doesn't really get disarmed, it's just not going to be able to see me now if I do it this way. Go down here. Ain't no pal. Okay. There we go. We'll light this up. Trundle along a little bit here. And there we go. Is that. I'm just basically describing what I'm doing, even though you can clearly see what I'm doing. When you get into this sort of thing, it's kind of hard to figure out what to talk about, because I'm just basically putting my plan into motion. Alright. Okay, so, we'll jump down wake up. That's complete. Oh, there's the solar panels going. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. Yeah, they're extending. Well, hi. Hello, Nova. Do you want some attention? Uh, let's go with this one. This ramp that I put here. This way, yeah. I don't think there's anything I need to activate in the. I'm not even paying attention to what they're called anymore. down this way, I don't keep the light. I don't keep it lit. So I'm going much faster than I'm used to. Than, or than I have the past few times. Alright. Cool. Alright, so... There. No, that's... Wait. Which one is it we need to go to? That's not the one that we use, but this one. Step three is this mortuary. We need to speed run this mortuary. I was thinking before how it was kind of annoying to have to get through, but it's looking like we're gonna have to like get through it just for the sake of longevity. It's almost like, it's kind of what I was thinking about before, too. The idea that you have to outlast the other mortuaries to see some sort of event. And it's pretty clear now, the event is seeing those aliens die. Just kind of unfortunate. They seem like they're cool dudes. They just really hate the eye of the universe because they think it's trying to kill them. Which, to be fair, maybe it is trying to kill us all. Alright, so, we're back here. Because I don't think 
the base game even doesn't even really properly answer that as a question. If the Eye of the Universe actually has a goal or not. Or if it's just a thing that exists. I'm kind of of the, of the, of the opinion it's not actually a sentient entity. It's just there existing. Not even like just being alive, but just being a feature of the universe. There we go. Excuse me. I don't know why I sneezed into my shirt like that, but that's my life now, I guess. It's, it's clean. It's fine. Okay, we need to light this torch over here. There we go. Go over there. I don't think I've gotten any indication that the dam is burst yet. I hear a rumbling, like a distant rumbling. Which could mean that the dam is burst. I think I would have heard a loud smash or bang or something like that first, though. It's a fairly distinctive noise. just to speed it along. Just to kind of help you realize, oh yeah, you're not going to want to take your time doing this, using this raft. There's this thing. I need to explore that some more. So I feel like that's gonna have to be part of my plan, and I don't know where to fit it in. Or how to fit it in, because I don't know what you even do there, really. That's the damn bursting. Okay, so these guys shouldn't be a problem now. That's the sound of them dying. Okay, so... Oh, no. Yeah, I need to open that doorway. God damn it. <sighs> well, you know what? Just so this isn't a total wash. Yeah. No, you know what? Yeah. We'll have to stop by here first, open the doorway, then go to the tower, open the dock. Yeah, okay. That's that's one step I didn't get. I did not take that into account at all. Hey, Akeno. Welcome to the chat. I'm not paying a whole lot of attention to chat, so I apologize. I'm not seeing all of your emotes. Mainly just focused on this. And this is the sort of thing where it's like, I'm more or less, I'm more or less just streaming this for posterity, not to, not to be like doing the streamer hustle thing. But I'm glad that I'm glad to glad to know that somebody's joining. 
What was that? Activate? Oh, activate lift. Okay. I was looking in a different direction than usual. I just happened to notice that hint. The, mouse, the keyboard hint show up. Alright, so... So we're gonna go here. I think we've got a good sequence of events going. This is probably getting close to endgame stuff, but I'm probably missing enough that whatever I'm about to do isn't going to be the thing that I need to do. Or it's going to be part of the thing I need to do, and I haven't figured out the rest yet. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be like the end game is for the base for the base game. It's it's not going to be the situation where you have to beat this in one run. Oh. Yeah, my poor abused ship. Because I mean, the the ship's log proves that it can remember everything that's happened. So it remembers all of the abuse that I've subjected it to. Whoa! That was dangerously close to ghost matter. I think I just launched myself right over top of a cloud of ghost matter. Basically, just going in here to open the door. I might even be going too fast. I don't know. Maybe not. That was like slow before, but I also made some kind of silly mistakes. I had the feeling that there was something I was kind of forgetting. And that something being the fact that this door is locked. There, now the door is open. And we can jump down here. Oh. There we go. We'll go up here. And we continue to the tower. There we go. I just had to pick it up. Get it out of her reach. Alright, let's go down here. So yeah. I should have figured it'd be like that. We'd have to visit each of the mortuaries to do what we need to do before reaching the final one. Kind of figured this out. I feel like I'm much closer to the end of the DLC than I realized. Yeah. I don't know why I keep my my flashlight must turn itself off whenever I pick up a lantern. those beds is empty. Or no, that's, yeah, that's at the tower, which is where I'm at now. Okay, 
First, I need to activate the dock and do that over here. Man, it'd be a real pain if there were some way for them to, like, stop you. Nova, you quit that. She does this thing when she's feeling hyper. She wants to get out and run around. She'll like run up and bang against the door with both of her front paws and then l turn her head to look straight at me. She's like, yeah, open the door for me. Okay, I'm getting a phone call. I'm going to have to put this on hold for just a moment, but I will be right back. There we go. Sorry, glitching out. I'm trying to figure out how to unmute myself properly. That's like my own little hotkey system. Uh, there we go. Bear with me for a moment. There we go. So, back to where we were about to do. Okay, there's that. So we're traveling along this path, going down the other staircase. And we are going to call for the alarm. We don't have to do it right now, but I feel like it makes sense to do it right now. Just to get it out of the way. There we go. I keep on tapping the F key for a flashlight, even though the flashlight doesn't work here. that noise. <sighs> oh, yeah. Now hopefully that's enough. Oh. I kind of short-circuited it because I didn't wait for them to go down the elevator, but I don't think that really matters. They're going to be... If they're going to be like snapped by the time I get there, then it doesn't matter if they're down there in the elevators or not, I don't think. And logically, they should be doing that anyway, whether or not up there. So that's two of the mortuaries visited. Now it's on to the last one. And hopefully that's all we need to do. That's not all we need to do. I, I'm, I'm almost positive that there's something I'm missing. But hopefully me doing this will help shed some light on what I'm missing and what I need to do next. Those green lights, or those green things, are two separate things. Green sensors, I guess that's what you would call them. They are like sensors, because they detect light. I'll just assume that they were part of the same rune and they just acted together. But they're actually independent. One is up, the other is down. And which one you shine the light on determines which one you move the indicator too. Whereas before, I was just shining my, my light on both of them. And the indicator, it seems like when both of them are active, the indicator just goes counter counterclockwise in either direction. 
Okay, so we are here now. So we need to try to speedrun this. I mean, I don't think we need to speedrun it, but the sooner we get this done, the sooner we'll be able to go to the other areas. We definitely don't want to take our time, regardless. I haven't heard any indicator that the dam's broken yet. I'm guessing that'll happen before I get onto that raft down there. Sip. Zoom. Zibbity bow. Too bad this sequence didn't have a shortcut. I mean, it could have a shortcut, and I just don't know where it is. Yeah, that dude's crying over his family photos. I feel like a jerk saying stuff like that. It's a bit insensitive. But it's a fictional character. Why does he seem to be the only one here? Is everybody else, like, just having a party elsewhere or something? I guess I'm kind of under the assumption that each mortuary... or each of the areas associated with mortuaries is, you know, housing those particular people from that mortuary. And there's no mixing in between. Even though they clearly have a way to transport, a means of transport between the areas while staying in the dream world. And there's the odd little extra spits that make me wonder, are, are those areas that I can access or are they just there for decoration? Just to kind of imply, oh yeah, there's more dudes elsewhere and this is how they get to where you are now. Okay. Ooh, uh. And we're off. So I didn't get tripped up as much as the last time I made this run. But it made the extra step of, you know, opening that door that needs to be opened. Okay, we're just passing through here. There must be something I have to do here. I just haven't figured out what. what's the point of this thing. Ah, uh, there's the dam breaking. We're gonna hear those guys scream in a moment. Yeah. Then we need to jump over here. All right, so. Okay, yeah, that's right. So we need to go through this tunnel. Now that the door is open. The door. That's the water rushing in from the dam. If I'm gonna see any dudes walking around with lanterns, I'm gonna get mad. I'm actually gonna be frustrated because I'll be like, what the hell? They should be dead. Or they should be gone. guides. Aha, here's the path. It's gonna really suck if I go all this way and then it turns out the doors are closed. <laughs> That'd be a real kicker. Real kick in the jeans, if you would.
Any dudes left behind? Doesn't appear so. Feels weird because this place was so threatening before with all the dudes. Now it's just empty. Wait, what? Hey. What the heck? What's the point of this? Is there another thing to do? What am I supposed to do now? There's that blind I was hiding behind. Extinguish that. Extinguish that. Okay. Here we go. I was wondering. Oh, we're going down. That is not what I expect. I kind of thought that going down would just do nothing and then I have to go up anyway. What is this place? Okay, so that's the first phase. Insert artifact. Artifact is okay. So that just keeps my artifact safe. Are these all the... okay. Maybe these are copies of all the reels. Okay, this is one I haven't seen yet. Okay. It's on a raft. Okay, yeah, it's basically... yeah, this is how this virtual... this is how their virtual reality works. The caves are hidden loading screens. Something happens if you fall down a tunnel when you're in between loading screens. Okay. Alright, that's possibly useful information. That's something we're gonna definitely have to try. Now, the planet reel is one that we've seen before, but it had sections of it burned. So if this is a copy of... that is an intact copy, that could tell us what information we were missing before. Well, I'm just kind of sitting here going, well, why don't they just go home, forehead? Can I? Oh, I can open it. Huh? Do I need to use my lantern here? My artifact? Okay, that's water. That is a drop-off, maybe? Why is this burnt? What does it mean for that to be burnt? I was kind of thinking this is some sort of artifact that would explain everything, but it is... That's confusing as hell. Like, what is this supposed to be? What used to be there? Why is it burnt now? Oh. 
Whoa. <laughs> Wait. What? Where did that bridge go? Did me opening that do something? There was a bridge here. Oh. Okay, yeah. I took out the artifact. That's what happened to the bridge. Can I go in the water? When my flame is lit like that? I'm kind of afraid to find out because I spent so much time getting here. And I don't have any particular reason to go in the water. I don't see anything to travel in to. And water normally just kills Hearthians. If it's too deep. And obviously they can't swim because why would an amphibious space bearing race need to swim? Okay, well, that's open now, so maybe me opening that will do something. It seems like there's more stuff here, though. Okay, well, either way. Got our fill of this area. Let's go up. This might not be the last time we visit this spot. Alright, so... Because we opened... It didn't seem to do anything, but it was... Whatever it was doing, it was broken. Okay, we'll go back. Is there a way to shortcut over there? Back to the beginning? No, we'll have to go through this tunnel again. This really kills a bunch of time, too. Which I have already killed a fair bit of. Okay, the tower just fell down. I remember thinking, hmm, it's funny how you hear those screams, but it seems like it happens more than once per loop. That's exactly what's happening. It's the one group dying off here, and then the other group at the tower dying off. There we go. Wait, what is... Oh, this is the houses. This is where they were coming out of. I wasn't allowed to come in here before because the doors were closed. I just kind of stumbled in here by accident. There was another house, like, yeah, right there. Is there anything of value in here? I think I've seen that one before. Oh yeah, there's there's that chessboard. <laughs> they have weird triangle chess, that's what that is. Okay, so if I leave this bridge and then bear right, I should get back to Yeah, there we go. I think this is the right way. How am I supposed to get back? I don't want to, like... Okay, here we go. I was gonna say, I don't want to just... jump in the water and then wake up and then be, like, back two areas. And then have to travel all that way, but... I'm almost wondering if maybe I would be better off doing that. might be. Alright, so I haven't totally nailed down the sequence of events yet, obviously.
There's another path here, but I think I have to activate it. I have to do something to activate it. Unless there's a one-way path over here, too. Which there might be. Now that I think about it. feel like I'm about to run out of time. Yeah, there's a bridge over here. I think it's this spot. Where's where it drops off. But I had to activate it. So since I didn't activate it this run, it's just not going to appear. Okay. Well, jump in the water. Dozing off again. And it should be easier to go through the mansion the second time since I got the one bridge activated. Oh, there we go. Will I be able to get to the bottom of the well in time? I don't know. I wonder, that, wonder if that dude with the projector is still down there. still down below. I'll have to wait for that to get back up. Come on. I'll have to keep that in mind for next time I do this. So I can send it up while I'm waiting for the boat. out of time. Maybe I should just do... <laughs> I just fell out of the world. Oh, the game told me to fall out of the world this way. Where do I want to go? I'm actually paralyzed by just indecision. But the world's about to end right now anyway, so kind of doesn't matter. If I jump into this water, is that gonna wake me up? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's what I thought. That's okay. Okay, so... I was in progress in a way that I wasn't expecting. It's almost a shame you don't get to enjoy the supernova destroying you at the end of this music when you're, when you're playing through this part of the DLC. Anyway, it is... holy crap, it's 11.19. I'm gonna take a five minute break, and when we come back, we're gonna try the sequence... No, you know what? We're not gonna try the sequence again. We're gonna experiment more with falling at world, the way we learned it. Um, so, hope those of you that are watching are enjoying the stream so far. It's the sort of thing where it's like, I'd just be playing this by myself otherwise, but it's cool if people can watch and get some enjoyment out of it as well. So if you're, if you're just chilling out and hanging out for the ride just to watch somebody else's experience at this game, that's cool. It's, 
it's like what they say. This is the sort of game you only get to really play for the first time once. So you're probably doing the same thing I like to do, or I liked to do before this DLC came out, is just watch other people play this game. Because you get that, what do you call it? Not cathartic. You get that sort of empathic. Empa empathy isn't the right word that I'm looking for, but you get you, you get to enjoy it through others. Trying it for the first time. And I'm this I'm loving the DLC so far. It's it has exceeded my expectations. I was worried that it would feel too kludgy being jammed into a game that was already really good by itself. But I'm happy with it. I'm really very happy with it. Uh, well, anyway, I'm gonna take a five minute break, but I will be back in five minutes.